I was speaking to Jenny O'Shea at our production partner Beyond and we just both said, what are we thinking? Why did we even decide to make a show during COVID? It was so complicated. What is Tropo about? Tropo is a noir crime drama and it's a disgraced cop who goes to hide away in far north Queensland and is recruited by a young PI. So together they solve some local crimes, but also their pasts are unraveled as well and we get to grips with the mysteries of their own lives. I'm thinking prison. I killed someone when I was 16. What, manslaughter? Murder. Stone cold. Well, that's something you might have mentioned in our little job interview yesterday. And what did you love about the project? I love the quirkiness of the characters, but also the world. It's far north Queensland, but it's actually, it's a distinctive quirky far north Queensland. And the characters are misfits. They're on the outs, but also the fact that it's layered. There's actually more to the story than solving crime. Yes, yes, yes. So Yolanda Ramke is the creator of Tropo. Why was Yolanda the best person to adapt this book uh, for television? Her work on Cargo just shows that she really gets that kind of, that noir, the beats that Tropo needed. She builds a world, a very distinctive world. She's incredibly, as a feature writer and director, incredibly meticulous in the way she approaches creating a piece of work. And for something like Tropo, it needed to be premium drama. You need somebody who actually, you know, is thinking about creating a layered and complex world, which Yolanda's obviously proven herself as being very adept. In terms of the actual shoot, so um, filming on location, how is it kind of filming in that area? We engaged a production designer very early on who's based on the Gold Coast, uh, Nick McCallum. And when we saw the photographs that he and the location scout took, we were like, yeah, we can do this. So we did plan a far north Queensland shoot, but as time went on, it became apparent that what were we going to film up there? Some just texture, some aerials. Uh, we didn't need it. We created our own far north Queensland world without being there. Uh, you filmed during uh, COVID. Um, how was that experience? How did that kind of impact the production? We're in Queensland. So basically as borders closed, we had to recast from other states. And as the number of states we could recast from became smaller and smaller, we had to say to people, we're really sorry, we need you in hotel quarantine for 14 days um, before you start shooting. So. Not only did that have ramifications for the cast, it did on the budget, it did on the scheduling. I went for three days. I was going to come every fortnight and check on Tropo. Tropo. I came for three days to the Gold Coast, the borders shut. I got sent into isolation for 14 days. And then I thought, I can't leave. I might never get back in. So I was the only production company person that actually managed to be up there. So I stayed for five months with my little bag, with my three sets of clothes. It was a challenge. We can do anything now. We made Tropo in COVID. Oh, Jesus. I told you to stay put. This isn't Sydney, man. We got more tractors up here than people. There's no one around. What do you hope audiences will take away from watching Tropo? I really hope that audiences engage with the characters and go on the wild ride that is Tropo. We're all very proud of what we've created because it definitely wasn't without challenges. But everyone that was engaged and worked on the show was just at the top of their game and contributed so much. And with the support of the networks, um, I feel like we've really created something special. Mm -hmm.